Hi everyone and welcome to Owen's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make Sri Lankan style hot and spicy chicken curry. So let's get started. I've got three tomatoes, one onion and fresh coriander. Now everything chopped and ready to use. These ingredients into the pestle and mortar make a wonderful base for curry. This is base for curry. Whatever you put, that would be amazing. Here I have one and a half cup chicken stock and thick coconut milk, about one cup. And I got some spices going to use for the marinade. For this recipe, I'm going to use skinless chicken thighs with bones, but you could use any part of the chicken you like. Now I'm going to marinate the chicken. First, I'm adding these spices. Some salt. And tomato puree, about a two tablespoons. Three tablespoons of plain yogurt, one tablespoon of tamarind paste, and one tablespoon of honey. Mix everything and make sure that the chicken pieces are coated with the spices. And I'm going to leave this to marinate for a few hours, but it's fine to cook straight away. Heat the pan. I'm going to add some vegetable oil. When it's hot, add the paste. I like to give that a good stir for about one to two minutes. Then Add onions, saute the onions until soft, once the onions are soft, I'm going to add the chicken, now cook the chicken with the spices about 4 to 5 minutes. I'm not adding any water now. The chicken will release some juices. Just cook stirring for a while so that the flavors go deep into the curry. Now I'm going to add chopped tomatoes. Cook about one to two minutes or until the tomatoes are soft. This is marinade bowl. Uh, here's some leftover spices. I'm going to add some water and straight into the chicken. Now uh, chicken stock. Mix everything. Now bring it to the boil. After stirring, I'm going to bring the heat up and let this boil for a few minutes. Now I'm going to bring the heat down and let it simmer and cook for about 30 to 40 minutes or until chicken is tender. I'm going to put the lid on and stir in between. And this is 15 minutes later. I'm going to give a good stir. Some salt. And put the lid on, continue to cook. I'm going to check the chicken. Give a stir again. And I'm going to add coconut milk. Give a good stir everything. I'm going to cook about a 10 to 12 minutes or until fully cooked. I 
I'm going to taste the sauce. Everything wonderful. Sprinkle with fresh coriander. And now turn off the heat. Put the lid on and just leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is completely done, now ready to serve. It's really a mix, good. It's really nice. It's not that spicy. That's good, yeah. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.